We'd like to welcome everybody back to another episode of Monday Night Massacre. And started off the night, gonna have a little bit of action from none of a I cut out during that, didn't I? Yep. Fuck, I was trying my best not to cut out. Skywalker! Oh fuck, I just realized this program is he's not going to be walking for any sky after this. Yeah, I love that. I think he's out more than he Yeah, this man's going to be walking for any other world if anything. God damn. Now that's the pretty thing for Daz when we guess him to win. I don't think that's going to save us all. Maybe. <laughs> We can only hope. And a Skywalker waits in the ring. His opponent making his way to the ring. It is the chaotic Hughes. Punch that announcer in the face. He copied me. <laughs> the chaotic one. One on one against the Skywalker. I want to poke him in the eye. I bet you ain't brave enough. Absolutely not. Uh, you wanna go near that man? I'm not the one that I wanna poke him in the eye. Or well, did you? I'm pretty sure I did not. Well, believe it or not, I have records of you saying that once upon a time. Good luck with that one. Fuck. <laughs> Either way, Skywalker, Chaotic Ian Hughes, here we go now! And now just getting thrown off away from Chaotic, but no, it turns Chaotic round, but there's a hip attack in response, and Ian now just staring at Skywalker like, do something! There's an Irish whip all the way to the corner, big clothesline into that corner and not done yet. Jesus! Back of the head against the canvas over and over there. And now drags him up to the feet. And has him up. And just tossing him to the outside like he's nothing. To the outside now goes Chaotic. Throwing Skywalker off and now has him set up. Sweet! Back of the neck straight against that floor. Stomps the shit out of his chest and drags him up to the feet. Just for more punishment into the stairs now. Yeah, I don't think Skywalker's gonna be walking any well walking over any of these obstacles. <laughs> Ref back into the ring following the Skywalker and hey, Chaotic just wants him to have a sit down by Skywalker starts to fly! Falling drop kick, but he gets thrown off again. Goes for a drop, gets caught in a clinch, now has him set up. Sidewalk! Land! Sits him back down to the floor. Turns him over. The leg is now hooked. Skywalker not staying grounded. Not just yet, though. And now there's an Irish whip all the way to the corner. And big boot into the corner as well. And Chaotic's having a little bit of fun with it. Do you reckon little... Grounded is the one game Skywalker tries to avoid? You would think. <laughs> and you said Chaotic having a little bit of fun. I think he's been having fun since that bell rang. I mean, yeah, true. <laughs> and oh, there's another fully dropkick. Chaotic still on the feet, though. And now in the clinch and face first into the turnbuckle. Kick to the midsection. There's a second and a third. What about a fourth, fifth, sixth? And now. Uh, dragging him up to the feet now. 
Has him set up. Oh, Jesus! Ready to flatliner! Face first into the canvas. My guess the shoulder up at two. I mean, Skywalker got the fly. He just also got the crash, and oh god. He is now going on a little bit of his own dark voyage as he's the dark passenger. There it is. I honestly forget what it's called. <laughs> you got it right. That's exactly what it's called. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Surprised me there for a second when you got it. Here's your winner. Oh, Chaotic Ian Hughes picking a fast victory up against the Skywalker. Moving on to the next matchup of the night now, and the first competitor making their way to the ring is going to be this bitch boy. <laughs> fucking wannabe fucking model looking ass fucking... I, I don't know, I can't come up with anything else. I thought he was one of your best friends. Absolutely not. I would snap those goddamn Timu glasses in half. But do you reckon he just gets his entire, like, bloody gear set up off Teemu? I was about to say, is he a, uh, a wish version of Vicious and Delicious? Yeah, except for so bad that it's not even Wish. Damn. Yeah. Actually, no, just from looking at the gear, jacket, pants, Teemu, glasses, belt, Wish. I think that's what it is. And shoes, I don't know, dump stuff, I guess. Either way, as Ethan Cooley waits in the ring, the next competitor making their way to the ring is none other than everything in the and I forget, that man is also your light heavyweight champion of the world! Gonna have Suki ringside with him as well. As that match he had for that title, it seems like he didn't want to be a part of. He didn't want to fight. And then something just turned, something snapped. And he did not hold back and became that light heavyweight champion. How do I forget he's the light heavyweight champion, but then remember how his light heavyweight championship match went? I was wondering the same thing, but I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> Leeway Ethan Cooley thinking he's all that. Eddie introspect getting ready. Here we go now. And oh, Ethan go for a handspring. Head scissors tilt the well edition. Stomp to the arm, turns him over. There's a stomp to the back. And what the fuck are you doing, Cooley? <laughs> Cooley is not the man to be doing that. No one wants to see that. Eddie getting back up to the feet. Ethan with a cross body off the top. And now, oh, Eddie up to the feet and straight into that full mount. Oh, God. And just biting the hell out of Ethan there. More and more. And back of the head against the canvas as well. Eddie might want to watch out. I think he likes that. Oh, God. I... I did not want to think about that. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Springboard headbutt! <laughs> Springboard back elbow to follow. Now, elbow straight to the top of the head. And now just pressing that foot against the midsection at Bloody Armor. Ethan. Dragging him up to the feet. Has him set up. Wrist his clutch and snapping the fingers a little bit. 
And now sets him up. The arm is down. And oh, Knuckles pressing against the back of Ethan, followed by a big stomp to the back. And now stomping in that gut once again. And now Eddie. Oh. oh Jesus! Went for something more, gets caught by a bicycle knee, and there's a handspring tilt. Oh, well, head scissors once again. Goes to the cover now, leg is hooked. Suki right there watching Ethan Cooley as Eddie gets a kick out at two. And now get up to the feet, but there's a jaw buster! In response, turns him around, and elbow drop against the chest. The leg is hooked. But it's a kick out at two once again. And now up to the top, Eddie looks to flop. A little bit of a one-ton bomb for ya. Not much effort put into it, but high impact landed. The leg is hooked, but it's a kick out of two. Dra a dragon Ethan off to the feet. There's an Irish whip to the ropes, and Eddie duck under into a beautiful hip toss. Jesus! And now goes for a stomp up to the feet. Goes for a bicycle knee. Doesn't connect, and now Eddie. Oh, has him set out, body slam position, sets him over and front first against the top rope. And springboard sent on off the bottom rope there. Eddie now pressing that body foot into the gut again. Ethan's probably gonna spew out anything he's goddamn ate after this match. Ooh. Another springboard headbutt. Up to the feet now. And oh Jesus. <laughs> Just climbing on the back of Ethan and trying to scratch and claw at anything he can find. Now has him set up. Oh Jesus! Belly to back face buster! And big sent on to the outside to follow. I wonder how effective it is for his bony up looking ass to be doing sentons. Well, he said it best, bony. I mean, yeah, fair, actually. <laughs> Kick to the midsection, and oh! That's Head trap twisting cutter with the leg. I'm about to say, let's motherfucking pull out an overdrive. Ah, uh, yes. And now back into the ring for Frost Punch in the midsection. There's a second gets called that's a punch in the midsection for Maddie. And now kick to the midsection. Down the road as he hooks the leg. And there it is. And he introspect picks up the victory here tonight. Your light heavyweight champion victorious. Against the wannabe. <laughs> I'm starting to think that Ethan Cooley's on your list of. Actually, I think he's the top of your most hated people list. Oh, uh, not the top. But there's more people above him. Oh, really? Yeah. I dare to ask who. Uh, those who shall not be named. Actually, I know one of them. Exactly. <laughs> but the next competitor now making their way to the ring. I just want to make sure. I thought so. But I'm pretty sure they both also have these yellow ass trucks. <laughs> Raymo De Leon making his way to the ring. As he goes one on one against someone who's an interesting person, to say the least. <laughs> Why do you say that? Uh, because if I say more, the Illuminati's gonna get me. I mean. 
Actually, I don't have nothing else to say. Never mind. Exactly. <laughs> And oh, they don't have the only drone, so I'm just retarded. Okay. <laughs> but it's Raymo waits in the ring, his opponent making his way to the ring. And then on the hands, look at the ring. Oh, oh, the man. I haven't figured out why he comes to the ring in a fucking five feet suit every time. Just to strip down the yeah. fight. <laughs> Is he a cross knuckle? No, that's the Illuminati logo. Never mind. Yeah. For a second, I thought this man was just straight up gonna enter the match with Frost and up or something. I mean, this is Massacre, would you put it by him? Absolutely not. Zachary Baldwin now waiting in the ring. Raymo De Leon getting in his corner. Raymo De Leon. Zachary Baldwin. Here we go now. Oh! Bicycle knee to start the match off. And now there's a handspring back elbow to follow. Apparently Raymo did his little uh a little bit of research. No, but he needs to keep moving before Zachary starts powerhousing him. I mean, yeah, but hey, seems like that might be what Zachary wants right now. As he makes Raymo run the ropes and a sharp elbow to the face. The momentum of Raymo running straight into that elbow. An elbow drop against the chest as well. Zachary might also be ready for this match himself, seeing as he made Buddy Raymo run a little bit. Just like, oh yeah, let's just use some momentum against him. Yeah, that makes sense. Raymo going for an early cover, trying to use up that energy of Baldwin early. Kick out at one though. And now trying to get up to the feet, but there's a punch in the midsection. And now Baldwin, Irish whip into the ropes and all the way to the apron. Big punches to the jaw. Now there's a punch in the head and setting him up for a back body drum. On the apron, turns him around, goes for the cover. And ref, to uh, ref took about 20 billion years to get to that cover. I was like, referee, do your fucking job. <laughs> and that turns Zachary around, does a tilt -a Wow, Fujiwa! But no, Zachary quickly out of that Fujiwa armbar and now has Buddy Nremo up. Get the orange suit play! I've been saying suplex a lot instead of suplex. Yeah, you have. <laughs> but there's a running power slam! And now dragging Raymo up to the feet. Has him set up. There's a forearm to the face. Now soup by kick! Sandy Gusku shooting star! Leg is hooked. One, two, kick out at two. Now Raymo looking under the ring and has a sledgehammer in hand. And straight to that lower back. Goes for another but Zachary out the way. Flying shoulder tackle. Back of Raymo's head hitting that sledgehammer. And now the knee on belly ground and pound. And now has him set up for a little bit more. Knee on belly ground and pound there. Punches off the punches and now leg is hooked to what? Never mind, not even a one. Raymo quickly out of that. Up to the feet now and send him across the arena. Has the sledgehammer in hand. 
And straight to the side. And now it goes to the cover on bloody um no oh, Ramo, but it's only a one. Up to the feet now, punch in the midsection, punch in the midsection, punch in the jaw, double axe handle to the back of the neck. And now Zachary dragging Ramo up to the feet. And oh no, elbows to the midsection, able to fight out of it. And now Ramo sets him up. Sweet neck breaker! And Ramo, oh, waiting for Zachary to get up to a knee, and there's a kneeling DDT now. Ramo is actually doing quite well against Zachary right now. There's a stomp to the arm. And now Zachary sent across, stopping himself from going into the stairs. But he's going to poison right on, straight on the tippity toppity of his head. And he, the leg is hooked, but it's only a one. Did you just say tippity toppity of his head? Yep. Uh, I'm so done with you. You say this every single show. <laughs> This is true. But Ramo now dragging. Oh no! Went to drag Zachary up, but Zachary just turned it around and now turning Ramo around. Has him by the throat! Choke slam! Double knee! Backstabber! The leg is hooked! There's a two! But only a two, though, so far. If I could speak English. So if you, far? If you could speak English, if Ramo could fucking. Live his life. <laughs> I think I just turned into Homer when trying to say so there. Go. <laughs> oh, there's a rolling thunder. Double knee face breaker. Fall by an elbow drop. Now has that ladder in hand. And oh, straight to the side of Zachary. And throwing a ladder as well there. He just threw it and oh. literally created its own fucking bridge. Yeah, that is a scary fucking position. But he knocked it over anyways. So we're fine. No death happening. And now yeah. Irish whip. Ramo turns it around. Oh, into the wrath. No death happening yet. Yeah, true. Yet. Ooh. Face first against the apron. And now, just sending Ramo across the arena like it's nothing. Little bit of cutthroat action from Zachary as he says he wants to kill Ramo. Right as we were talking about no deaths here. Punch and jaw, punch and the jaw again. There's a third kick to the midsection, forearm to the back. And now, dropping that knee into the floor. Seems like Zachary came in with the plan of using the momentum of Ramo against him, and now seems like the momentum's getting a little too much. And now hooks the leg, looking to use up even more of that energy up for this cover and kick out a two from Ramo. That gas tank just getting smaller and smaller after every little action. And now Zachary has the rest and rest first into the floor. There's a kick up to the head though from Ramo. Now has Zachary set up. Twisting neck break <laughs> with a little bit of flair on it, but Zachary trying to get straight up to the feet. Raymo setting him up and now sending him across the arena. And now has him set up for a twisting neck breaker. I feel like Zachary's going to need an ice pack for his neck after this. I feel like Raymo thinks that's the only way he's going to survive. I mean, hey, maze whoa. <laughs> I mean, let's face it. Zachary got a big ass fucking neck. Yeah, and the neck is one vital ass part of your goddamn body if I could speak. <laughs> oh, Jesus! English isn't Englishing. English is my third language. Language? Fuck me! <laughs> your third language? What is your first and second? Retard and autism. I'm about to say smart ass don't count. Yeah, no. J just retard and autism. Those are my first two. Punch to the body, kick to the back of the leg, kick to the body, kick to the back of the leg, double foot stomp to the back. And now stomp to the back once again from Ramo as he sets him up the wrist of his clutch. But there's a knee upside the head from Zachary Baldwin. And now Zachary has him in the clinch and tosses him across into the ring post. 
Earlier you said something about Ramos gas tank being empty. I think he found a gas station. Jesus! Never what about mind. that? Never mind. And Buster drilling the back of Raymo into the canvas, and now there's a Bob Dye, Papa Raymo out the way. Rolling Thunder, double D face break! And now, oh, one for something big. Zachary out the way, has him in the clinch, and now Sonoma all the way across the arena once again. And hey, they, they're on go now. Do they get $200? Oh god. Trickson, double knee, backstabber! The leg is hooked! One, two, three! Zachary Baldwin! With Stream of Day on down tonight! You did not just ask to take it $200. What? They hit the bloody arm that go. I know what you're referring to, but you did not just go there. Well, actually, what? you know what? At this point, I really shouldn't expect anything more. We've hit pretty much every topic in the world. Fair enough. <laughs> And now moving on to the next matchup, a little bit of fatal four-way action as the first competitor making his way to the ring. Yes, the dog. Dog James making his way to the ring, peering in, slashes him over the head, along with a kendo in hand. Fatal boy action here tonight. He is a former tag team champion, right? He was the first tag team champion. Yep, okay, thought so. First ever tag team champion with Corey Reeves. Former light heavyweight champion. Former elevation world champion. Former hardcore champion. Yep. Uh, I don't think he ever held the US. If he did, it was before my time. But Alan, the dog, James, has a reputation behind him. Well, two reputations, if you will. One for being one of the facts. And the other in being the dog, no matter what. He tried to go in a little, yeah, I'm a good guy, redemption arc. But uh, we saw I, how I that don't, I don't think that was, I think that was him being full of shit. And it was a ploy to get in because uh, he switched as soon as one person picked him off. Um, uh, uh, and that man, he will have not been ever since Alan James threw him through a window. Yeah, that's true. Like, straight up just threw that man through a backstage window and he disappeared. Like, I, think, I think Alan James also has a murder in his books. Uh, we, that's like we don't talk about Bruno. But we're talking about it. No, nope, I'm not talking about Bruno, sorry. I know, what's wrong with Bruno? Because I'm not being a complice. <laughs> Fair Especially enough. Especially when the next song coming out is Blood in the Water. <laughs> hey, it's not like this was his theme originally anyway, He's, he stole it. I understand that, but still, <laughs> it's ironic that we would be talking murder and this theme would come on. <laughs> Either way, the next competitor making their way to the ring and Kenji Jordan! You know how the women on Masco have been getting attacked recently? Uh -huh. 
You reckon buddy um Kenji's girlfriend might get attacked one day from Angelica Horn? You know, if I'm being honest, I forgot he had a girlfriend. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean she was costing him or not costing him. She was helping him win matches, but I haven't seen her in how long, I don't know. What are you waiting? Kenji Jordan, Alan James, both lead in the ring as the next competitor making their way to the ring! I'm gonna take it out. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm gonna take it out. Okay, yeah, fair. Oh, wait. As the next I can't. Competitor. I gotta figure out if he's got his licorice hat on. Uh, no. Fuck him. To the moon. Damn, all the way as to the moon? All the way to the moon and back! Damn. As the next competitor making their way to the ring, thinking he's all that, thinking he's the scariest shit, thinking that he's so cool for wearing barbed wire on his hat, he is none other than the man who is a papa of absolutely no children. Rap, the rap, man rap, who apparently rap, has rap, legs, rap, but his legs are shit. Rap. Yeah. He's behind you. No, he's not. You were over here talking all that shit. What if he's standing right behind you? He is not. I would have smelt that man's goddamn ugly ass from a mile away. In fact, I can smell him all the way up behind that goddamn doorway. What would you do if he was behind you, though? Uh, I would elbow him. No, you would See, told you he was there. I could smell him all the way over there. You were, you were debating turning around and looking behind you, don't lie. Uh... If anything, my fist would have turned around behind me. Yeah, okay. If it was involving this man, then yeah. You, As... You just like making the best of friends. Uh... No. That requires being social. <laughs> fair point. Very fair point, actually. I love how ironic it is when I bring up me needing to be social to make friends, while also our entire job is to talk in front of people. This is true. <laughs> Either way, Papa Legba making his way to the ring sadly enough with his stenchy ass. Why are you smelling his ass? I'm not. He just thinks so much that it smells like ass. You're the one that keeps saying the smell of his ass. Hey, I'm just saying that he he's just a stinky fucker. Papa Legba finally getting done. And now, the next competitor making their way to the ring! The man who I think is fucking delusional at this point. I was about to say, is he pretty delusional at this point? <laughs> not sure if he thinks if the Mitzvah is still a thing or not at this moment in time, but he was a former! Massacre World Heavyweight Champion! And...
making his way to the ring. As he comes into this match ready for Fatal 4-Way action. At least I hope he's ready for Fatal 4-Way action. I don't ever question what Webbs is ready for, so he seems to always be... I'm starting to think he plays fucking dumb. <laughs> because it doesn't matter how many times he's put in a damn situation, he finds a way to claw his way out of it. Fair enough. Well, Alan the Dog James, Kenji Jordan, Papa Legba, and Webbs. And here we go now. Matchup on the way. Alan going off to Papa Legba. Webbs going off to Kenji. Webb's going for an early hover on Kenji. Only a one count as Papa Leg, but keep it. Allen down. Big elbow drop to the back. Stomp to the face of Kenji. Fist sent on to Allen. And now Kenji up to the feet. Webb's goes for a spin kick. Doesn't connect. Now from behind. Has him set up. Electric chair. And Allen gets caught by a back suplex. Forearm to the back of the head of Kenji. Dump to the midsection of Kenji. Now Webb's dragging Allen up to the feet. Pop Legba has a such hammer in hand. Springboard Moonsault also kicking the shit out of Pop Legba there, I believe. <laughs> and now has a such hammer in hand. Straight to Kenji. Now to Papa. And now to Alan. No, Alan rolls out the way, but he gets caught by it a second time around. And oh, Kenji with a drop toe hold. He just fucking called him Papa. Uh, his name's Papa Legba. Yeah, but you didn't say Legba. You made it sound like you called him Papa. Uh, no, that man was a Papa of absolutely no children. He wishes to be called Papa. That's why he made his wrestling name Papa Legba. I mean, he might be Papa to somebody's children. You don't know. There is no way in hell. Don't fucking judge. I am not judging. I am just knowing. You are just judging. I was not judging. I was knowing full well that he's not a fa father figure to anyone. Either way, Papa Legba with the full mount grand and pound to Allen. Kenji goes for the cover on Webbs. Papa Legba going after Allen still, I believe, to cover getting broken up. And now, looking to snap the neck of Allen. And now Kenji from behind with a Russian leg sweep. Bloody Webbs taking out Kenji, the leg is hooked, but Papa Leg were able to break it up. And now Webbs with a double on the hook, Tiger Driver! And now Alan with an Irish whip into the corner. Alan goes to recover on Papa Leg, but Webbs breaks it up. And Allen going off to Kenji. Oh, taking that sledgehammer out of his hand. Wrist clutch, wrist clutch chops. And now goes for the cover. One. Never mind. Papa Legba able to break it up. And now Legba going off to Allen. But Allen turning around. That's going off to Kenji. Oh, Jesus. Allen driving Legba down. Springboard Moonsault doesn't connect from Webbs. But has him set up. And oh, Jesus. Fisherman Brain Buster from Kenji. Straight from BCF and fun. But Alan able to break it up. Hmm? Said, imagine that. <laughs> what? I knew, it was, I knew it was fucking coming somewhere. <laughs> like when I'm just taking the hell out of goddamn Alan with that, but Webb's breaking up the pin. And Webb's with the sledgehammer, but no, taken out of his hand by Kenji. Just getting elbowed by Webbs. And now Allen has Papa Legba up and drives him down. And now Webbs going off to Kenji. Shoulder thrust. Backflip into another shoulder thrust. And now Allen back into the ring. And Webbs chopping the hell out of him. And setting him up with kicks and punches and everything. But no, there's a hip toss. And now choking the life out of Kenji in the corner. Papa Legba back into the ring. 
And now from behind. And Treason! Dang! Oh, I'm going to be feeling the after effects of that, but buddy, you no know, leg is hooked, but Webbs breaks it up. Now Webbs going off the leg bar. Oh, rip good Larry, I believe, or a forearm, or something to do with the arm, the leg bar. I can't fucking tell. <laughs> oh, but Webbs taking out Kenji, that's for sure, leaving him laying on the floor. Alan James waiting in the ring. Webbs going off the leg bar now, taking out that leg of his. Now he needs to take out the bar. Oh! And running straight into the sledgehammer of Alan James. And there's one to Kenji and to Legba. And now Alan going after Webbs again. But Webbs get, takes it out of his hand and has him set up. Throwing him back into the ring. And now... Oh! Jesus! Kenji just getting flattened on the outside. Alan flying to the outside there. I believe hitting Webbs. I'm not quite sure. But now... Set up over the shoulder. And face first against the apron. And Webbs is clearing off the spare announce desk. And Kenji gets thrown across the arena into the barricade. And oh Jesus, Yikuranagi against the barricade to follow. And now, bloody Webbs taking out Papa Legba. And Webbs going after bloody, no, Alan James thrown across the arena. And Freeman Webbs into a ring post. Dragging him up to the feet. <laughs> Webs with the bit in hand, but no Kenji breaking up, and now Kenji getting thrown across the arena. And Webbs, oh, oh, getting caught by an elbow, and now Kenji going after Webbs as well, look at an arm, but no, Webbs takes him down from the arm, Allen going after Webbs, but Webbs throws him across, now has him clinched by the back, and now Legbo and Webbs working together, chopping the hell out of Allen. And now Webbs getting thrown back into the ring, and oh! And just donkey kicking the hell out of Suji. Oh, leg bar with a massive headbutt there to Webbs. Goes to the cover. The leg is hooked. But Suji, uh, not Suji. Fuck the me. Kenji. Uh, they both end with Suji. Kenji. <laughs> Kenji breaking up. Breaking up the pin and now going one on one with Allen in the ring right now. And Allen able to take him down. And it has him up for a massive Yanagi deadlift edition. And now into the corner, up to the top. Looking to fly. Massive leg drop from the top. Will this be it? The leg is hooked. One, two, no. Webb's able to break it up. And now Webb's, oh, went for something, but Kenji in the way. And now, oh, has Allen set up. The shoulders are down, but Kenji there to break it up. And now sending Webbs all the way into the corner. Kenji taking Webbs down, but no. Now going off the leg bubble. Leg bubble has him up in the fireman's carry. First against the top rope. Goes to the cover. Leg is hook hooked. God damn. And now Webbs with an STO, never mind, Russian leg sweep, turned around, went to the back of Bloody Legba. And now going after Alan James, set him up and sends him into the ropes and... Oh! Legba getting involved there. And now getting back into the ring, but Webbs has a set up! Time to get my drive on the down, Legba! The shoulders are down, but no kick out of two. Kenji also there to break it up if needed. And massive Superman punch from Webbs to Kenji. Leg is hooked now. And there's the free. Webbs able to pick up the victory in Fatal 4 away action here tonight. Blood running down the forehead. More blood running down the eye.
Alrighty, moving on to the next matchup of the night now. And, oh God. Oh Jesus, fuck. This match. Oh God. Well, the first competitor making his way to the ring is none other than Carpenter. And we have quite literally a massive monster match here tonight. Jesus Christ. This is going to be one hell of a fucking match. <laughs> Do we have a reinforced ring for this one? Uh, I hope so. As the next competitor. Okay. <laughs> what? Why is Jay even coming out to the LW? I don't fucking know. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I can't be weak Coming from the streets of the ghetto At the end of the week I get to keep the lead Did the production the team like Think that for some reason Draven was part of the LWO Instead of the fool <laughs> I still This is amazing Honestly <laughs> That, that was honestly amazing. <laughs> I mean, that's also this fucker to follow. You know what? <laughs> Tonight is already amazing. <laughs> I'm a little speechless right now. <laughs> the next competitor now making his way to the ring is none other than Big Mac Eden! Oh Jesus Christ. I did not know I needed Draven Hunter coming out with the OWO theme in my life, but that was amazing. I needed that. Carpenter in the blue and yellow, Draven in Draven, and Mark Mola in the green and white. Here we go now! And now punch in the midsection, punch in the jaw, punch in the midsection, ha and there's another punch in the body. I believe all those may have just been rebounded though. I don't think Mark Muller took any effect. There's a body for the Draven kicking both men now, Mark. Now that knee first into the canvas goes Carpenter. And there's a Bulldog from Draven. And now turning his attention to the Carpenter. Abdominable stretches. I still can't say that word for the life of me. Repeat after me, Ab. Abs. Dom. Dom has abs. Oh my god, never mind. <laughs> what? I don't even know why I tried with you. <laughs> hey, buddy, Draven was just eliminated from the bloody um, uh, Gauntlet match. Oh, not Gauntlet, but um, Battle Royale match. That's what that match is called. <laughs> Are you okay tonight? No, I'm really not. <laughs> After hearing Draven with the LWO theme, no. <laughs> Somebody in production is getting fired. <laughs> nah, that man deserves a pay raise. I don't know because uh, that might put him on the fallen radar. <laughs> oh, God. There's an old words on the top that had a Mark Muller. Draven has a chair in here back into the ring now. Oh, went for a shoulder tackle as Carpenter, but Mark just dropped him with his momentum and now gets dropped. And Carpenter tries flying into Carpenter, uh, into Draven with Draven, just tanking it. Carpenter's not used to this. He's the smallest man in this match. That's not normal. Yeah. And now he is definitely feeling what it's like to be on the other end of it. 
But there's a kick out of one from Draven. Draven to the outside. Carpenter following as Draven to clears that spare announced us. Mark Muller back into the ring. Oh, chop block. Also, for a split second, then Carpenter got out of the ring and Mark Muller got in, my heart dropped. Wow. I thought we were about to see Mark Muller do a suicide dive. That would have been a feat. It would have been more than feet, that's a whole ass belly. And now, oh, kick to the midsection, face first goes Carpenter into the bin. And now, just has Carpenter set up and up against the barricade. Draven turns his attention to Mark Mola, but Mark just sending him into the ring now. Carpenter forearm to the back of Mark and has him set up and tosses him across into the stairs. Back into the ring now. Draven Carpenter alone. Military press. No roll for into the bloody roll up. The shoulders are down. One. But it's only a one. There's a double axe handle now to Carpenter and Mark Muller going after Draven. Irish whip to the corner. Kick to the mid section from Carpenter. Has him up. Hit, oh, boom. Jack Knife edition. But no, Draven there to break up the pin, and now there's a swinging neck breaker. Back up to the feet, though, or at least trying to, but back of the head of Carpenter going straight into canvas. Goes for an elbow drop to Mark Muller, but Mark out the way somehow. And now punch and jaw, punch in the belly, kick to the midsection, four on to the back. And now has him set up for a neck breaker. And the Carpenters back into the ring goes for the cover on Mark Muller. But not able to break it up even with the feet on the ropes. And now has him set up over the shoulder. And Draven front first against the top rope. Goes for the cover now. One. No. Able to get a kick out. Mark Mull there to break it up if needed. Single knee face breaker. And now turning his attention to the Carpenter. Forearm to the face now. Oh, running chokehold from the Carpenter. And now up to the feet. Headbutt. And Draven with a kendo over the head. Carpenter out the way. And he catches the second one. Into the cover now. One. Only a one. Not even a two count off to Kendo and now Draven waiting for Carpenter to get up to the feet. Has a battle for it and tosses him like he's nothing but dead weight. The leg is hooked and that is it. <laughs> Draven the Butcher Hunter. Victoria. <laughs> Can this just be Draven's feet from now on? <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> I love this like honestly <laughs> I don't think we've the production crew has done such a good mistake <laughs> but either way moving on to the next oh. wait what yeah, that was red <laughs> But it was amazing. <laughs> Either way, next matchup now. As the first competitor making his way to the ring. And come on. And now the next competitor making his way to the ring is none of a I cut out for like 90% of it, I didn't know. Yep. It's not the spawn! There we go. 
That was all I've outside his pocket. Hey, what? This good show made the fucking thing working. That's bullshit. Eloy Dalton Osborne making his way to the ring. What is this hammer? Hammerman? What you doing? Well, apparently the production team's way fucked up tonight. <laughs> nah, cameraman had one goal in mind. <laughs> but Dalton Osborne in the ring. And ready. I feel bad for Corey Reeves. <laughs> Is this also a Massacre Rules match? Yeah. Actually, we don't know. It, I mean, yeah, it could be, but then the ref could just go, yeah, no, nah, it's not. Yeah, the referees <laughs> do have a mind of their own. Yeah. So, I guess we'll see, if anything. <laughs> There's an STO to start the match off all by an ALA! BAMA! SUPERMA! And now Dalton to the outside. And he's already getting ready! Footy in hand! Punch to the face! And there's a second punch to the face! Well, by third, no, out of the way! Forearm! Forearm! Sets, sets him up! And there's a hill of the blood! Taking out the hill of Osborne! Smart strategy from Corey Reeves! Whoa. As he wants that heel out of action! You know Reeves utilizes that ankle lock. Yep, and that heel hook is just going to be great for him in that match. Try to slow those feet down, make it so he can't run at you like that. That'll be better for the later parts of this match when he gets that ankle barren, but for now, back body drop. And now there's a stomp to the head, and a second. Dragging Dalton up to the feet now, and Corey sends him into the ring, and Dalton bleeding down the head now. I believe that might be worse for Corey Reeves though, but right now he's on the advantageous, but the can't follow through. Goes for a punch to the body, can't get it, there's an Irish whip into the corner. Keeping Dalton in check, but no, there's an elbow to the face from Dalton. Oh, went for an SEO, goes caught, spin kick to the body. Now Corey Reeves with an Irish whip all the way to the corner. And now setting him up, but there's an elbow to the face. And now flying clothesline. Dragging Corey up to the feet now, and holy shit, overhead belly to belly, and buddy Corey almost landed on the top of his head. There's an elbow drop to the chest now, and not done yet. Follows it up. There's another. And to the outside, Dalton goes now, looking under the ring, and he has a barbed wire bat in hand. Oh, suicide dive! And I believe oh, the buddy Osborne might have landed on that barbed wire bat. But there's a punch to the lower midsection. Kick to the midsection. Forearm to the back. And now Dalton Osborne with a big drop kick. And not done yet. Runs into a forearm. Turn Dalton around now. Cool. Drives him down. And beautiful slam, but no, look at him play possum, but no, Corey! Oh, beautiful wrestling from bloody Corey there. Perfectly working on those legs, and now working on legs. Oh no, there's a punch in the head, and now Osborne runs into Corey, and now runs away, but forearm to the back, and now Corey with an uppercut. Corey's taking this match very technically, and it's working out really well for him. Well, you, you made a comment about Alan James earlier. Corey was also the other half of that tag team. Yep. But has he held any singles gold at all? That I don't know, but he's been around the block a couple of times, and he knows how to watch tape, and he knows how to pick apart weaknesses, and he hit it right off the stride with that ankle pick right off the beginning of his match. Yep. He is playing it smartly, and he is looking to walk his way up. May or may not have gold, buddy. N n gold in his name. Oops. Elevator music. <laughs> Kick out of two from Osborne. But whether he's championship experience or not, he knows what the hell he's doing. And now has those stairs in hand. And trying to throw them at Dalton, but Dalton. Dalton! <laughs> <laughs> 
splits him into pieces! The leg is hooked, but a kick out at two! Corey knows what he's doing, he's playing this smartly, but Osborne just has that pure power, the pure aggression, where any single one of these shots could put Corey down. So Corey needs to be as careful as possible, but when Dalton gets on, gets going, gets moving, he may be unstoppable, there's more punches to the body. Kick to the midsection, and oh god, bad position! Has him up! Oh shit! Oh, And this is what I was just going on about. I think Corey's dead. Back of the head, jackknifed onto those stairs. And now has that footy in hand. Throws it to Corey, but no. But he, I believe, just let him to faint him out there. Just dropped it as he threw it. Just like, ah, made you look. But Corey <laughs> seemed to not even take notice. He finger rolled it. <laughs> I mean, hey. No, no, I did that a few times as well. <laughs> I used to pretend I was going to throw a footy at nobody, my mates in training, and then I'll just drop it. That was a long ass time ago. That was before I even went to the state to eat sand. Oh, Corey, get him, pay, get it, but getting the footy shot in before Dalton. If I could speak English, and that has a spin kick to the body to follow Corey now, turning him around, has set up and drives him dead. And now uh, Osborne. Oh, Osborne treating it like it's absolutely nothing. Overhead, belly to belly, and that's just getting him rolling, get him in, getting him in the game. If I could speak the English language, and now with that footy in hand, throwing it at him, hits him, and throws it up. No forearm, chop, kick to midsection, DDT. Corey was ready for that forearm before he could get into the spear. And that is that ankle lock applied. Looking to take out at the ankle of Dalton. Will this be it? Will Dalton have to tap? And no, able to roll through, get, a, get free of the ankle lock. And now turns him around, sets him up. Massive German suplex. And not done yet, dragging Corey Reeves up to the feet. And tossing him across the arena, having a little bit of fun. And now, has him by the legs, and stomp to the midsection. And wrist first into the floor as well. Delta now, an elbow dropped across the chest. And back in the head, treating it like it's a basketball into the floor there. And another elbow drop. And wrist first into the floor again. Dalton just trying to make sure Corey Reeves is in pain, is suffering, is suffering. And now, buddy, uh, buddy Dalton just walking around the ring. Looking at the destruction and chaos he's left at Corey. Going over to Osborne. Oh, looking under the ring, though, right in front of him. But Osborne ain't having it. Oh, Fushiwara Armbar. Did not expect that from Osborne. And now dragging Corey Reeves up to the feet. Turns him around. Oh, but there's an elbow to the face from Reeves. Full by a massive clothesline to the side of the head as Osborne was turning around now has a footy in hand. Oh, oh! He went to throw it at Osborne! But Osborne just bit to have a living hell out of him! There it is! That spin absolutely splits him in half! Corey tried to play Osborne's game and absolutely paid for it! Osborne wasn't having that! Saw that foot in his hand and saw nothing but a red target! Dalton Osborne standing tall. Moving on to the next matchup of the night, we have a United States Championship rematch. Match. And is for Mass 
Jesse Groves. The World Extreme Wrestling United States Championship! Alrighty. The challenger looking to regain his gold is making his way to the ring. Here's the Lister Aiden Oliver. Hey. I like how it was saying running while he was running. <laughs> Aiden Albright looks to regain that U.S. title. And waiting in the ring as slowly but surely your world extreme wrestling United States champion and, and Stitches makes his way to the ring. Chaotic Ian Hughes and Draven Hunter both victorious tonight. Will Stitches also be victorious for the Fallen? Or will Triple A be able to regain his gold? His theme song, Here Comes the Boogeyman. So, did we make a new signing? Is Boogeyman showing up in WXW? Fuck no. Aww. What's wrong with the Boogeyman? Nothing's wrong with him, but. The theme just fits a little too well, that's all. Introducing the <laughs> from Biloxi, Mississippi, weighing in at 228 pounds, A-list Aiden Albright! Aiden in the green and black. And his opponent, from Limbo, weighing in at 228 pounds, the World Extreme Wrestling United. And a champion in Stitches. Stitches handing a title off to the ref. Aiden Albright having a look at that title that used to be around his waist and looking to gain it back. One last look at it as the ref raises it high and proud. Massacre rolls. Aiden Albright ditches him with go now and stitches trying to start off strong but there's a punch in the body from bloody Aiden and there's a little bit of a famous uh, and there's a springboard drop kick to follow Aiden started off hot rolling thunder and now off the ropes for another rolling thunder times two and now dragging stitches up to the feet goes for a punch against court does a punch in the jaw that's a forearm now has the wrist clutch and setting him up and oh inverted ddt from the hammerlock and now up to the feet there's a chop forearm that's him up the ankle is picked and wrenching on that leg and now stomp to the arm turns Aiden over and now setting him up and oh trying to take that arm out of action for buddy Aiden Albright to the outside now goes Stitches as he looks under the ring has a barbed wire bat in hand and straight over the head it goes right again but Aiden out the way oh but he gets caught to the back of the neck with it that time and now rolls to the outside and Stitches to Bacon Hino! And now goes to the cover. Only a two count though. Elbow drop now from Stitches. 
Stop to the back to follow her, and now there's a kick to the back as well. And now there's a foot DDT. Trying to keep the buddy AAA just slow. Trying to keep the momentum low. Make sure he doesn't get the roll going again or the ball roll. You know, I give up. No, I, I can't ever. I, I just give up. I can't say ball rolling, apparently. Yes, but I can say it then. I hate my life. <laughs> Either way, rolling thunder from AAA and looks to follow it up with a school sweetheart straight into the cover. The leg is hooked. One, two, three, and he does it. AAA, Aiden Albright, the Aiden and it's once again. Triple A able to regain the gold as we move on to the next matchup of the night. And the first competitor making his way to the ring. And none other than Presenter James Lee. Maybe. Is he here? Is that him standing there or did he pay someone? Oh no, it's him. What the hell do you mean that he pay someone? I mean, he could have paid someone to enter this match for him. We could only see his legs, you never know. Why would he do that? I don't know. Maybe he doesn't want to be in a match this week? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Who are we talking about here? Primetime James Lee. And how, how often do you see him bitch about having a complete streak? The, the better question is, when do I see him speak? Anywhere, Here lately, fair point. From Houston, <laughs> Texas, weighing in at 248 pounds, prime time, James Lee! Prime time now, waiting in the ring. And the next competitor making his way to the ring. Slowly, but surely, if he's here, if he's alive, maybe someone butchered him backstage before the match. What is with you and killing people off tonight? Uh, it's because he's not showing up. And he's making our cameraman crawl around the ring. As the next competitor making their way to the ring. In Steven! In the ring and ready. Alrighty. Prime time J Lee's J Stevens. And here we go, there's a chop. Uppercut gets blocked and now Primetime has him set up and beautiful Flatliner Hammerlock Edition. And now there's a springboard clothesline. And 
Now, oh, big flapjack from prime time. Goes for the cover. Shoulders are down, but it's only a one. And now, has him set up. And look at the twist that neck of Jay Stevens. And big knee to the side of the head. Followed by a second. Not done yet. There is a third knee to the side of the head. And now, looking to twist that neck once again. Prime time. Not looking to absolutely game. murder people. Wait, what? You said prime time. I said, not looking to play games tonight. <laughs> yeah, not at all. Hey, you said I was saying shit about murdering people. At least I ain't trying to do it. <laughs> I don't know that. Uh, no. I don't know what you have in that little bag of goodies you got over there. All the times you talk shit about certain people. The bags are good. I don't have the bag. <laughs> I mean, for all I know, you could have poisoned Papa Legba's barbed wire. Ooh. Honestly? Sounds like a plan. I'm going to do that now. My point exactly. <laughs> oh! Face first goes Jay Stevens up on the goddamn apron and now setting up. Just taking that ankle out of action and elbow drop to the leg. And Jay also bleeding from that snake eyes as well. But Jay fight him back. There's an arm drag. And now big elbow drop. As the gold standard looks to go one on one with prime time. And now up to the feet, but no, prime time sees the gold standard face first into the goddamn ring post. Is his face still the gold standard, or is no, that now a, a little standard. bit of like a silver standard now, or a no, bronze standard? I say no, it's a crimson standard. Ah, crimson standard, yeah, that makes sense. He went straight past silver and bronze, straight to crimson. <laughs> no, he surpassed a lot. Crimson, er, gold, silver, platinum, bronze, you name it, he passed oh! Well, what about a such have a straight to the head? Does that lower it from crimson? To iron. <laughs> iron Ray. <laughs> and now, uh, getting sent across the arena and into our oh, announce that's full by Chop. There's a second and a third. Hey, at least he ain't no crimson chin. Um, <laughs> I've learned better than assuming, <laughs> especially in WXW. But well, there's an elbow drop to Bloody J, and now prime time with a barbed wire bat straight to the arm. And now sets him up, goes for the cover, leg is hooked, one, two, kick out at two. Prime time having a little bit of fun, and now waiting for J to get up to the feet. Kick to the midsection, twisting, face buster! Leg is hooked, and is he now going from iron to like dirt? Yep. And time, James Lee picks up the victory. Here as Jay Stevens is going to need to do a little bit of polishing James to get back up to that golden standing. The primetime standing tool as we move on to the semi main event of the evening. As the first competitor making their way to the ring in the number one skull fact. Face making his way to the ring. We're a dynasty in the making. We're the royalty now. We're breaking down the enemy. Move over the soldiers. Take the swing, I can take it. If we die, it's fine. We live for this. It's all for this. Soul face 
making his way into the ring as he goes one on one with the man who looks to put eight stand out on this man's momentum. Dollface now waiting in the ring. And the next competitor making their way to the ring. And the winner is John Dollface. On a Gates going one on one with Skullface. Goldface in his corner. Connor Gates in the other semi main event of the evening. Here we go now. And there's a wheelbarrow DDT to start the match off. Dragging him up to the feet. And now has Connor up against the ropes. There's a snap there. Off the ropes. Oh, big kick to the face, followed by a double foot stomp. And now out into the outside goes Skullface looking under the ring. And he has a table in hand. Connor Gates going back outside, which also messes up Skullface trying to put the goddamn the table in the ring. And now there's a wheelbarrow. The kick. Fall by stomp to the back, turns him over. And now Skullface looking to stomp the life out of Connor Gates over and over and over. And now sending Gates across and into the ref. And single knee backstabber into a flat liner. Leg is hooked one, but it's only a one. And now looking under the ring. And oh, Sledgehammer straight to the midsection. Everyone's loving Sledgehammers and barbed wire bats tonight. <laughs> Connor Gates out the way, but that's a slap punch into the face, kick to the midsection. Skullface with a forearm to the back of the neck. And now not done yet. Skullface dragging him up to the feet. And tosses him across and into the ref. Turns him around now, kick, gets out of the way, it's Connor Gates in there, Connor has him set up, knee, no, punch in the midsection, elbow to the face, and now, Lariat to the back of the head! And now there's a stomp to the arm, and now there's a stomp to the head, followed by a second. And now has that such hammer in hands, and oh, Connor Gates out the way, but gets caught by the second. And now, oh, single knee backstab on a neck breaker. And now, a kick to the midsection, a meteora. And now, send them, buddy, skull face across the ring. And full mount ground and pound. And now dragging Skullface up to the feet. And now Gates looking to close the gates around the throat of Skullface. Choking the life out of him. But no, up to the feet and spine buster. And now driving Gates down. And there it is! Goldface picks up the victory on Connor Gates! <laughs> oh, I don't mind dying.
Yes, I am. I can do now. Sure. Uh, not really. I don't think so. <laughs> but Skullface picks up the victory as he quickly makes his way out the ring. And moving on to the main event of the evening now. And we're going to see a little bit of tag team action in the main event. As making their ways to the ring, they are the Broken Dragon, Harrison Graff, and the fight for the foreign champion, the Enigma. They are the bad Romans. The bad Romans making their way to the ring. Main event and destiny have a handful for. That's the Enigma. Harrison Grab. The bad omens look to continue. Their absolute takeover here tonight. And now, it's the Bad Omens waiting in the ring. The next competitors making their way to the ring. And none other than the Destiny Shrimp and Beef Noodles. Shrimp and Beef Noodles up against Harrison Grav and Cursed Enigma. I feel bad for him. Also, why is a big man like that rolling? <laughs> Alrighty, the bad omens. Destiny main event of the evening. Here we go. And of course, the little guy going after big guy. There's a big belly to belly. And now both members of Destiny trying to go after Grav because Enigma getting involved. But oh, wait, you Grav just low blown shrimp noodles. <laughs> and now because Enigma taking out beef noodles, double foot stomp the shrimp noodles out the way though. There's a chop gets blocked. Punch of jaw, neck breaker from Curse Enigma. Grab went to fly, but gets caught. There's a headlock punch. And now Beef Noodles with an arm drag to Curse Enigma. Shrimp Noodles taking out the leg of Gra Grav. And now Sh Beef Noodles with an Irish whip. Curse turns it around. Beef Noodles into the corner. Shrimp Noodles has Grav set up. Stomp to the leg of Beef Noodles. Shrimp Noodles looking to fly. Springboard Tornado DDT. And now, what 80. Curse Enigma rolls to the outside. Grav is in the ring alone with both beef and shrimp noodles. Now boots to the face from Grav. No forearms to the face. Punch in the midsection on Grav with a famous. Uh, and beef noodles to the outside with Enigma now. Punch in the body now has him stop. And big suplex. Oh! 
Down with a massive springboard crossbody to Broken Dragon connecting, but Brief Noodle breaks up the pin. Okay, I may, have, I may have seen this incorrectly, but did you see that table on that suplex? Uh, no. Table was in the way. Ramon went for the suplex. Enigma went down with the table. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> oh! Went for a splash onto Beef Noodles, but out of the way, followed by a body block, and now Beef Noodles having a little bit of fun in the ring alone. Grab with a stop sign. Over the head. No! Shrimp Noodles takes it from him, but Enigma with a shoulder tackle from behind, and now Beef Noodles sent back into the ring. Enigma stomped to the back of Shrimp Noodles. Grab back into the ring with Beef Noodles and Carl sliding up Shrimp Noodles for a sloppy knee strike straight to the face. The leg is now hooked. But kick out before one. Ref had to take his time getting out the ring. Suicide die from the Broken Dragon to Beef Noodles. And now elbows to the side. The head of Buddy Grav from Beef Noodles now has him up. Military press drop. Shrimp Noodles back into the ring and Nick Moff the stop sign on the outside. And now Beef and Shrimp Noodles, uh, Beef Noodles and Grav going back and forth. Stop sign to the back of Beef Noodles and now Grav with a neck breakup but Shrimp Noodles after Enigma. Oh but Enigma went under the kick and now Grav with uh, inverted DDT and Enigma going after Beef Noodles. And now, oh Dragon Sleeper applied, a little bit of a sufferer as I have if you will. <laughs> But there's a couple of knees to the head, able to fight out of it. And now kicked to the back, and oh, it also bloody trips over Beef Noodles. But there's a trip back from Shrimp Noodles to grab. And oh, God, Beef Noodles is getting sucked. And now, oh, went for a little bit of a knee, but it didn't connect. And there's a knee, a bloody base, Bob Dwyer bat. God damn, why did I go to call Bob Dwyer bat a knee twice? Uh, <laughs> And now, B Beef Noodles went for an Irish whip, got turned around, uh, no, turns the Irish whip around. Now Beef Noodles has cursed Enigma up over the shoulders and face first against the apron. Shrimp Noodles goes for the cover on Grav. Shoulders are down, one. Only a one, though. And now Dragon cursed up to the feet is Beef Noodles and sends him back into the ring and Shrimp Noodles sends Grav back into the ring. Both members of Beef and Tri of Destiny now. And top. And now uh, there's a light tube straight over the head of Grav and Carson into the corner. Go to the cover is Beef Noodles. Shoulders are down. One, two, not even a two. But these two have been doing a lot better than I expected. They've been working together for how long? I mean, Actually, yeah, but they've been together longer than the Bad Omen. I mean, yeah, but I was just expecting Bad Omens to do Bad Omens things. They are doing Bad Omens things. You don't see them get each other's back every time they need to? I mean, yeah, fair. <laughs> I just expect the Bad Omens things to be a lot more effective. But now, Enigma going after Beef Noodles, send him into the spare announce desk. Grav has Shrimp Noodles. And now, scrapes the eyes and Discus Rittenhouse kick! And beautiful! Bloody brain bloody trauma straight to goddamn beef noodles! Enigma bomb! Straight to beef noodles! The legs are hooked! One! Two. Kick out of two somehow! And now, oh, chop, knee, oh, hockey stick thrown, massive German, not done yet, beautiful cover from Buddy Grav, and kick out at two. And now, kicks to the back of the leg of Buddy Grav from Shrimp Noodles, well, by chop, knee, oh, discus punch. Goes to the cover now, and... Oh, Curse Enigma breaks up the pin. Now going off the shrimp noodles. And oh! There's a big hockey stick shot straight to the side, but Enigma out the way. And now standing bloody the beef noodles all the way across the arena. Curse oh, going shit. after. No! Oh, gets caught by a big twisting neck breaker. 
the outside now and oh breaking up the cover and now bloody beef noodles has scrap set up military press drop no better able to turn it into a roll up will they sneak a leg larry and invert it to shrimp noodles but a kick out from beef noodles And now, massive claw slam, the back of Shrimp Noodle's head hitting the bloody um, the, the hitting the um, the bear announce desk. Fuck, I can't speak today. Then again, I never can. Hold on, hold on, you didn't get, you didn't see that? No. You calling these motherfuckers after ramen noodles. Curse just bit Alex Rodriguez's hand. Yeah, he's just getting a nice little bloody taste of some noodles. He just wanted to see if these noodles were cooked right or not. Damn. I thought we were and right now, I, didn't, I didn't know we were cooking this bitch. Uh, I mean, bad omens are trying to. Then again, one of them spits fire, so he could cook them probably. Oh, but there's a stomp in the midsection. And now, oh, drag everybody. The beef noodles down for the sleeper hold. And now Big Monty Fisto from Trent Noodles goes goes for the cover, but able to break it up as Enigma. And now Enigma gets caught by a big lariat from Beef Noodles. You know what I just realized? What? Grav could cook the buddy um noodles, and then Enigma sucks the noodles. Oh god. <laughs> what? Buddy Grav getting caught by a hockey stick over the head, so does Curse, but Curse rolls out away at the second strike, and then pulls him in! Enigma! Boom! Hitting the goddamn barricade as well, but Beef Noodle's there to break it up. Hitting the and barricade now, and landing on a table. Yup, and there's a big belly to belly from Beef Noodles, but Grav able to drive the back of his head down onto that table for him to the back of the head, Shrimp Noodles. And now turns the attention to Beef Noodles, but Shrimp Noodles from behind sends Grav back into the ring and Grav, Buddy Enigma doing a little bit of wrestling with Beef Noodles. And now Buddy, no, no, Shrimp Noodles dragging Grav up to the feet. Oh, knee drop from Curse. And super kick to the midsection from Buddy um, the Shrimp Noodles. Ball by a big face! And now back into the ring, kick to the midsection. And massive forearm. And now setting him up and all oh, wrenching on the legs of Shrimp Noodles. Bob do I bat over the head and grab over and over. And fruit first goes shrimp noodles against the top rope as Grav gets tossed around by beef noodles. And now, oh, massive elbow from Enigma and stomping on the armor. Grav is bloody on beef noodles to the outside now. Beef noodles from behind. And big back suplex. And, oh, Jesus Christ, a headbutt to a kneeling enigma as well. And now Grav going over the beef noodles, barbed wire bat. And now Enigma turns his attention to shrimp noodles. Enigma! <laughs> Bloody Grav goes for cover on beef noodles as well. There's a kick out, but a cover to shrimp noodles. And now one, two, three. There it is. In the back, no man. Pick up the victory in your main event of the evening. Enigma and Grav standing tall tonight in the main event of Massacre.